let's go to Chile, bro. Can let's I say? Uh huh. My biggest takeaway, bro. I'm Rip maybe it. being a little little hyperbolic here. Chile's back. I think that is a little hyperbolic, but Chile's back, dude. Tell me more. Why? I think people are seriously underrating the impact that Gareca will eventually have. But even just in the short term, bro, I want people to understand that this Chilean side went toe to toe, band for band, band for band, with a French team in Europe. We had a backline including pretty much the French team. Saliba and Konate, those are two premier, top center backs in the Premier League. And that Chilean attack was cutting through them at times. Yeah. I saw, I thought this was very telling. So there's a, there's a YouTube channel here. I think it's called like Pasión para la, la Roja or something like Passion for the Reds. I don't know if it's a Chilean fan channel or it might be the FA. But the top comment on, on that video, the highlight video, the, the what I assume in, I think is how you say highlights. Do you know what it was? Hmm. It was somebody who said, I haven't seen my Chile team play like this in a long time. Vamos, Gareca. And it had like 1,300 upvotes. And I saw that and I said, uh, I said, oh, we, oh, the Peru in trouble now. Peru in trouble now. Biggest loser from this takeaway, Vélez Sarsfield. Vélez Sarsfield, you weren't giving my man the backing. And that's why he looked washed. He's going to come up here, and he's going to take a, a side who two months ago we were saying they were the most shambolic in South America, the biggest decline, the biggest losers. And you're going to come up here, and you're going to go toe-to-toe with Mbappe. You're going to frustrate Mbappe. Mbappe was having Argentina flashbacks the whole time. Had mm-hmm. to have been. I mean, look at let me, let me read you some of these stats. Both teams with 90% accurate passing. That's 606 insane, by the way. passes, 606 passes and 92% accuracy from France and 403 passes and 90% accuracy from Chile. We haven't seen those stats in a long time, but honestly, I want to go back and I want to see the last time that Chile had 400 passes just in a game period, because <laughs> that's not the way they play. They've totally re At that clip? No. At that clip? No, no shot. No shot. Um, four corners from Chile. Forcing errors in the French final third. I think that has to be said there, right? Um, and then nine shots with three on target. You've got a 30% like shot on target rate. That's that's solid. You're going to get mm-hmm. nine shots off against France? That's unreal. Mm-hmm. That's unreal. It's four unreal. shots unreal. No, dude. Un- unreal. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Shots off target three. Four shots on target. Same as France. They're back, bro. They're back. They're back. Two blocked shots. Dude. And they hit the woodwork once. Yes, I was about to say, the game was 2-1. Eduardo Vargas, he is wide open six yards out, headers it off the woodwork. It would have made it 2-2 at that point. Wow. Do you, do you Dude, think they that were this cooking. Is- do you think this is the French underestimating and the Chileans uh, or the Chileans just balling out or a little bit of both? I'm going to say the the South Americans will always have a little bit more respect and desire for international friendlies when playing for the national team. Yeah. But I also think there was a, there was a couple players who were given an opportunity here in this Chilean side. Not just the young guys, but you know some of the old guys too. I think everybody it's looking at Gareca and saying, this man don't F around. I no. need to go out there and I need to perform. Or Correct. he's dropping me from the Copa squad. Dude, and C, C, bro. He brings Brereton and Diaz. Maybe this is a different game. But he's going to put his foot down. He's going to say, we're going to go there. And we're going to make a mark. And, dude, he's getting young guys firing too. Dude, Come on the, now. this Osorio kid from Chile. Yeah. I, I, was not, I was not familiar with him before this um, – I didn't know who he was. I, I think he was quite successful with the Chilean U23 squad is what I've heard. I've since kind of started looking into him. Watch his goal against France. I, like, dude, I saw it and I was like, oh, no. It's nasty. Which, which, which one was oh, it? Because no. I, I saw the highlights. I just don't know who it was. It's, 
outside the box. He's cutting in from the left side of the field, shoots yeah. it. It goes under Magnan's diving yeah. hand. Yeah. 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 yeah side yeah. net. It was incredible. I think he's, tw- I think, damn, how old is he? Hold up. He might be 21. He is 20. He's 20. Holy. That's shit. insane. That's insane. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Watch. And, and even Davila, like, this is a guy who's he's been balling in Liga Mekis for a, a while, but hasn't really gotten too many chances with the national team. I think he's got less than 10 caps against Albania. By the way, underrated win. You went to Europe and you spanked an, a European side three nothing. Can we? We yeah. need to get some props there as well. Somebody. Albania somebody, got a good yeah. record too. No, nobody's talking about that. Nobody's no. talking about and, that. And Davila, hands down, man of the match against Albania. I haven't yeah. seen Chilean combos like this. I mean, they, it was it was Street Fighter out there, bro. I'm serious. They looked like 20, 2010 Spain. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Yeah, and they've honestly, been, they've been broken. That that may be the biggest takeaway. Like, take the scores, put them to the side, take the goals aside because those are always the biggest deal, right? Mm-hmm. But you put that to the side. The Chilean interplay, we haven't seen that in a long time. That's why I'm bringing up these passes, right? 403 passes at a 90% clip? No shot. That's unreal. That's against unreal. France. From against France and from Chile. No. You expect yeah. that you maybe you expect that from somebody like Uruguay with Bielsa now or Brazil or maybe even Colombia on their day. But dude, from Chile? No, no shot. I didn't expect that. Had no, nothing like that. I was like, they're gonna bunker down. This is gonna be counterattacking football. It's gonna be like watching Venezuela play against like a South American giant. No. Yeah. No. You're going band for band, like you said, bar for bar with France. I don't care if Argentina's ranked number one by FIFA and Coca-Cola and, uh, you know, the entire nation of Argentina. France is the best team in the world. France is the best team in the world. On paper, on the field, in depth, all of it. We all know England can't get it together, so put that roster to the side. France is the best team in the world. And Mm -hmm. Chile, what we were arguing, bottom three teams in South America, now out of nowhere... On their what is this? Is this their first match day with Gareca, or yeah. their second match day? No, first. Come on, come on. I mean, watch Put out, bro. Respect on it. Watch out. Put some respect watch on out. it. And frankly, Put some respect I, on it, bro. You got you got any closing thoughts? Because I think this one, I just want to let it simmer. I want to let it simmer. Little taste right here. Look out. Look out, bro. Last thing I'm going to say, this is an Albanian squad that just beat Poland 2-0 in the Czech Republic 3-0, and they hadn't lost in nine games. 